Yeah, hello and welcome to this tutorial for marmoworld.com. My name is Matthias and today I want to introduce to you Ben Pohl, who is a great uh, freelance visual effects and motion graphics artist. And he recently did pretty impressive work uh, in the field of character animation. And we did a project together where we made the eye expressions walk cycles work now much better together with puppets rigged with Duic tools. So if you have a puppet rigged with Duic tools and you want to make it walk fully automatically, this is exactly the tutorial for you. Ben also has other character animation tutorials on his Vimeo channels, for example, showing his really impressive turn rig. But now this one is all about the walk cycles. And also one special thing is now they work with puppets that can raise their heel. Yeah? So this is a great new thing. And now let's turn over the mic to Ben and start with his tutorial. Thank you, Matthias. This will be pretty brief. I'm only going to go over the new features that include Duic in the eye expressions walk cycles. If you need a full primer on eye expressions walk cycles, you want to check out the tutorial here that Matthias gave. This will give you the full primer. Like I said, I'll only be going over the new features that use Duic. Most recently, the system really helped me out with all of the walking and running that I needed for the Rachel B music video I did for the Nicholas Russell band. So in previous versions of eye expressions, you only had one walk cycle available to you. And that one walk cycle would simulate a heel raise by having the foot controller move up in position before actually lifting off the ground. You can kind of see on the left side, it does a very slight uh, heel raise by moving the entire foot up before lifting the foot. But with Duic, as you probably know, you can do a heel roll, which will raise the heel off the ground without raising the position of the controller itself. So eye expressions now will raise the heel if you rigged it with Duic with a heel roll, which is really, really useful. Let me show you. So here I have a simple character rigged using Duic. I also have uh, eye expressions, walk cycle, uh, all filled in with all the controllers and the ground. And, uh, I have the scale of the walk cycle set at 50 uh, for this size of a character. To make all the magic happen, all we need to do is select the specific properties that we want driven. So we start with selecting the hips position. For foot, we select foot roll, position, rotation. The other foot, foot roll, position, rotation. For the hand, select position and rotation. And the other hand, select position and rotation. After doing that, inside eye expressions, we're going to click this drop down for walk cycle and select walking, no heel raising. And then hit apply. Okay. So eye expressions has applied expressions to all these properties. And now when I hit play, we have a character walking automatically. I forgot to mention the ground layer is moving. That's why this character is responding. Um, otherwise, if the, nothing was moving at all, he wouldn't move. But since the ground plane is moving, the character is walking automatically. And so what's so great about this is you can see in our foot controllers, the foot roll is happening automatically with this walk cycle. So that's the biggest difference. If you rigged your character with Duic, you can now have an automatic smooth heel roll. One thing I want to mention is you may not have to apply this to the hand rotation depending on what your needs are. The reason for that is with all these expressions applied plus whatever else you have in the scene, this could be kind of slow because we're asking so many expressions to do so much at once. What I'll often do is not apply it to hand rotation, but instead in the hand, if it was rigged with Duic, the controller, you can turn off goal. And if you do that, the hand will automatically follow the rotation of your forearm. And you can obviously turn it back on when the walk cycle is done to have more control over the hand rotation again. But uh, I'll typically have that unchecked so I have less expressions going on and things are just a little bit faster, but uh, the option to have the expressions drive the hand rotation is there and it's a little bit more finessed the way the hands rotate uh, via the expression. So either way, on or off, it's your choice with the hand rotation. 
And I should say that this works with running as well. Just gotta choose the different drop down, running, no heel raising. And it will do the same thing for a character that you want running. So I personally am so thrilled to have this automation possible now with Duic characters and Duic feet. It has saved me so much time with every single character animation project I work on. I recently had a client project where I had a family of characters walking to a movie theater and uh, the client wanted to change the way the walk cycle looked and they also wanted the family to walk slower while holding hands. And that normally would have been so many hours to do, but since it was all automated with eye expressions, all I had to do was for each character, uh, move the hips up a little bit, move the hands a little bit, and slow down the rate at which the ground plane was moving. And after doing those three tweaks, the entire family of characters worked great. The other thing that I find incredibly powerful is the ability to scale the walk cycle. So besides being able to move the controllers freely, you can also have a sort of a skinnier walk cycle, a fatter walk cycle, especially depending on the size that your characters were when you rigged them, you may need to change the scale to walk properly and that makes it even more flexible. So yeah, that's about it. That's um, what's new in the iExpressions walk cycles. Again, I find this to be a complete game changer. I'm so glad Matthias uh, implemented these features to work with Duik. I'm so thrilled. If you have any questions, you can reach me here at this email address. And of course you can reach uh, Matthias and all his crew at mamoworld.com. Thanks for listening. I hope you find this useful. Enjoy.